So it's been raining for like three hours and uh, I just happened to look outside for a second and I see a little friend here. So let's go ahead and uh, say hi to him. Check it out. This little old tree frog. How cool is that? Just chilling on the door doing frog stuff. So I actually haven't seen one of these guys in a while. But I remember a couple of years ago, I would see them all summer long, right after a rain. They'd be right here on the door, just hanging out. And unfortunately, um, if I drive around, you know, when it's drizzling outside, sometimes I'll see them, you know, the frogs jumping across the road too. I guess that's where the game Frogger came from. But this guy is super cool. All right, there's a better angle. I'm not zoomed out. I'm actually about two inches from the frog <laughs> through the glass. But yeah, he's just kind of hanging out. Very cool. I'm actually going to go on the other side of the door. Hopefully he doesn't jump away. And see if I can get a nice shot of him from the back. Alright, so here he is. He's really cool. He's just kind of hanging out. He's definitely staring at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> but he did not move. I slowly came outside and I'm literally like a half an inch from the guy with the camera. He's just hanging out. Look at him. Let me see. Let me, let me back up and zoom in. Let me get the best shot here. I do have a little bit of external light. I don't want to shine it in his face. It's just kind of rude. So I'll see the best way. There we go. I have it kind of underneath him. Beautiful color on, on the back. But yeah, just a little bit of nature. That's all. I'll leave him alone because he's probably really just kind of wondering what I'm doing. Like I said, doesn't seem to be scared. All right, so I shut the light off. I have the outside light on. It's enough to see what's going on here. I don't want to blind him. But to give you an idea of size, here's my finger right next to him. Or her. I don't really know if it's a boy or girl. <laughs> Looking at the finger. What's up? Give me a high five. High five? No? But yeah, I mean, you can see my, my whole hand here. It's, it's a teeny tiny little tree frog. Cute little fella. This has some beautiful color on it. And I've seen these like bright orange. I've seen them bright red. All kinds of, uh, or excuse me, green. Bright orange and, and bright green. I don't know if I've seen red ones, but this guy is more like green and brown. Yeah, pretty cool. No care in the world. I'll tell you, if a giant finger came out of nowhere, I'd probably hide behind something, to be honest. I mean, what's the equivalent? Like a tree-sized finger? Just, you know, lands right in front of me. A little circle around the guy. Does not care. <laughs> it is alive. I know that. But, uh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll probably just leave it alone because I don't want to keep messing with it. It's definitely, definitely chill. So I'm not going to ruin its night by poking and prodding it. But I did want to share this. It's just a beautiful little piece of nature. You really have to, I mean, life is fast and crazy. Sometimes you have to just stop and notice the tree frogs. You know what I'm saying? Little things. You know, you might not have bear and deer and turkey and all these different wildlife, you know, you might see on the channel here. It might be in a city somewhere. But I'll tell you what you do have, you have birds. Right? There's birds everywhere. Get a little bird book, sit outside, take a look at the birds, figure out what they are, and just enjoy a little nature. It's a beautiful thing. Let's get a real tight shot of this guy. Yeah, I don't know, just hanging out in the door. Maybe they're just waiting for the rain to be over, but anyway, that's it. I'm going to go inside. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.